Okay, I just hit the record button, so now we are recording. Welcome everybody to another edition of Water Wednesdays uh, with the Stormwater Quality Division. My name is Kyle Tokuda and I'm a Community Relations Specialist. And today I will be showcasing you all of our data and asset management system called CityWorks. Uh, anytime anyone has any questions, please feel free to use the chat. So CityWorks is a GIS integrated platform that helps us track, monitor, and maintain our assets under the city and colony of Honolulu. Um, from here, we're able to track various investigations, inspections, uh, monitoring events, public outreach events, and more. Uh, it also allows us to input specific data, uh, generate search queries, and analyze that data as well to better maintain and improve the stormwater quality program as a whole. So we also use this data um, in our annual reporting to show all of our uh, progressions that we're doing or even areas that we need to improve on as well. A uh, few things that we're gonna be covering when I bring up the actual CityWorks website um, is storm trucks structures, uh, other things like storm drains, uh, great inlets, uh, box culverts um, and catch basins and etc. Uh, the different types as well uh, and then I'll be going over some other areas that we like to focus on like our public outreach events, our cleanups and how to locate them and then I'll also be going over some of the information that we obtain from some of these assets that we use. So. Let me try and get out of the screen. So this is our CityWorks website. Uh, it's, this is actually a public one that we made so that we can share out with anyone in the public that wants to fit around and look at some of our data that, and our maps that we have uh, created. Um, nothing in here can be manipulated or altered. So feel free to mess around and not have to worry about, are you gonna mess with our data? Um, and this is sort of the map area that we have to kind of showcase some of the data that we have. So we do have a legend that can show us specific things that we wanna generate and show on our map. Right now, what I'm showcasing is our cleanups and our public outreach events. So these little grass icons is gonna be all the cleanups that we have. And the little groups of people are all the outreach events we have. And so as you get closer, you'll notice a few more generate and pop up as you get to specific areas. Some of them might even have uh, multiple numbers on it. That'll show you um, we have more than one event or one cleanup at that location. Uh, and each one is attached to a work order that we make that describes the event in detail. So if I click on like a cleanup, it'll showcase a brief description about it. Uh, where it's at, who made it, and who um, was involved. And if you click on the top icon, it'll actually go into more detail about the actual work order and showcase about the event. So all this information you can see, and that's how we kind of track their data from specific events. So that was a cleanup. Uh, let's say if you wanted to look at things like maybe we had an event in a specific area. So if I wanted to look at an event at a, right here. 
I could click on it, it'll pop up a quick brief um, description of it. So it was volunteer resume day at the Pro City Library. Uh, if I click into it, it'll give me more information on it. So what was it about, the flyer? So far, so if you start to scroll in a little closer to the ground, uh, you'll actually also see different storm structures that gets broken down. So these are all the storm drain structures, such as drain inlets, box culverts, uh, catch basins, um, and then grates as well. Uh, each one is attached to the type it is. So. Um, it might be a type one or a type two. Uh, you can actually click on some of them and it'll bring up when it was placed and also um, what type they are. And you can even highlight a specific area to see how much is in that area. So if you use a selection icon up here, you can quickly drag a bunch and it'll give you the types down here. And it can show you all the different ones that are in that area. So this is a really cool program that captures all of the data that we here at the Stormwater use to do our monitoring, our investigations, our inspections, our public outreach programs, our events, our cleanups. Um, Pretty much anything we do in the city or with the city, we kind of track and monitor in this city works program and use it as our sort of a data collection website. Does anyone have any questions? I don't see any feedback from the chat, so. Nope, okay. Let me jump back. Can I go over the different types, type one versus type two? Yup. Let me go back, sorry. So type one versus type two is just the different types of um, storm structure. So it just might be type one, type two is like a catch basin. That's normally the storm drains you see on the side of the road. Um, type one, I believe is like a great inlet. So it's more of the one that looks like a, a grate on the side of, on the side of the road or on the sidewalk that collects the rainwater. It just kind of depends on how much water needs to be collected. So if it's like a high volume area, you're gonna use the great inlet. And if it's like a medium to low one, you're gonna get a storm drain and then so on. If you get a type three, you might have a box culvert, which is a higher volume area that you actually have to put in some sort of filtration system in there as well. So I think the red, the red here are actually type twos. That's the catch basins. And then these are the type ones with the green boxes. Hope that answers your question. Um, yes, there is. So if you look, I'm um, sorry, the question was, um, is there a key online? So if you're looking at the map right now, uh, there is a legend on the right. Uh, if you look and open it up a little bit more, there's all these arrows for each one. So for the storm drain structures, you would actually have to open up stormwater assets and then it'll drop down the storm structures and then it'll show which one is which. So catch basins are the red dots, great inlets are the squares, inlets are gonna be the diamonds. So if you scroll more out, you might find diamonds. Um, manhole covers are the little brown circles. And all of these um, on the, in the legend can be opened up. And so um, the eyes on here, 
will limit you as to what you can see on the map. Uh, when you check it, little boxes, that will show you um, what you're able to select for the bottom portion if you want to get more into the work orders. So that's why only specific things are um, selected because this can be multiple layers um, and it can be, if you put on all the layers, it's going to show everything that we're tracking and that's kind of a lot. I hope that answers everyone's question. So you can do street base maps, uh, center lines, um, for us, we can do cleanup events, outreach events, specific years, um, some of our adoption sites, um, some post-construction sites. Um, we tried to keep this pretty general. So because we're sharing it with the public, we didn't want to get too detailed with it. Uh, yep, so you can use a navigation um, tool on the left right here that I'm kind of circling around to move around the area with the hand. If you want to zoom in, you can use the zoom in button, zoom out button uh, to try to find your location. You just hit that button and it'll take you to where you are, which I don't think it reads for me. So it will just show the whole island. Um, to select a specific area that you want to try to research, you can use the square or you can even make a polygon or just the point. So if you want to focus on, let's see, where are we right now? This is Waipahu and I think right here is a Waipahu Intermediate. You could just make a polygon like you want to see everything that happened at Waipahu Intermediate. And it'll generate right at the bottom here. So there's two adopter blocks in that area. Um, there's one storm drain, which is, I guess, where did I get? Somewhere right here. Oh, right here. This little green diamond. And then there was two outreach events, one and two. And you can access all of those. So if you wanted to see what outreach events there were, you can just click on this work order and it should show it. Or you can just click on where it's located. So, yep. And it'll generate. Any other questions? I'm kind of flying through this. I am actually taking an energy drink, so if I talk a lot faster than I should be, I apologize. Cool, so we're gonna do a quick scavenger hunt. Um, hold on, let me slide through this. Ray Ramos. And for the scavenger hunt, I'm actually gonna use our newest member of our team, Kylie, to jump on and kind of navigate through um, the CityWorks public web page. So Kylie, if you can access that CityWorks, which she has on, and I'm gonna Let's see. Does it work? Okay, so now you can see Kylie's screen has just popped up. Uh, 
Hold on, sorry. You know what? We got time. How do I get out of here? Let me take it back, sorry. So the access city works. Let me pull up this one. So you go to this website and then here's a username and password. Uh, here's a login ID. And the password is SWQ dash capital P UB one IC. And hopefully everyone can jump on and kind of follow as well. If you're able to lo I'll log on and um, follow along too, that'd be great. If not, you can just kind of watch Kylie and see how she navigates in it. So when you log on, it'll kind of look like um, you'll have our inbox page generate. Uh, if you do want to see the map feature portion, which we'll be kind of working in, you go in that top right corner, there's a little map icon. Just have to click that. And it'll generate the map. And it'll look something like this. Right. And so I'm going to be asking Kylie to look for a few things um, on this map. And she has never used CityWorks before, so. Yeah, she's just as in the boat as everyone that's joined us so far. So let me access her. Okay, Kylie. Mm -hmm. First question is, Look for a cleanup and uh, and find out who conducted the cleanup. So the cleanup is those green grass icons. So try to scroll out a little bit more. Oh, you're doing good? No, you're looking for a cleanup. So, uh, yeah. So, anything with the green grass icons. No, no, no. That's a storm drain. No. The the grass icons. So they so so. I scroll out a little bit more. You see those little? Yeah. So that's one of our cleanups. And if you click on it, it'll give you a little bit more information. So you're looking for who conducted it, which is the contractor. So as you can see down there, it would be a naval group, USS Shafi. Hopefully everyone can see it. There you go. Right over there, the contractor. Uh, and then you can find out more information. So I also wanna know 
how many people participated and how much trash bag. So yep, you can click on that icon and it'll pop up in that, yeah. Okay, how come it's not showing everything? Try to scroll down, it should be. Okay, yeah. So if you go scroll more down, it'll show you in your custom fields some more detailed information about the cleanup. So as you can see, right there in the red, right by your arrow, it's the number of volunteers is 45. Uh, they did collect trash. We weren't able to collect it by bags though. Um, we collected all as this specific cleanup was collected uh, by its tonnage because we got so much. So it was about two tons of trash we collected along the bike path. Okay, so try to go back to your map. There you go. And then you're, what you're looking for now is a public outreach event. So that's the icon that looks like those little people grouped together. You can X out that one. So this event is one of our project wet workshops at IA Intermediate. Uh, and part of my question is how many people have participated in this event? So if you click on that one, yeah. And then it'll highlight over there. You can scroll down. So 10 people participated. So 10 teachers participated in our workshop. Great. And then try to go back to the map. My last question was, to find the closest storm structure or storm drain near Aloha Stadium. And if you can identify what the numbers are. So there's Aloha Stadium. If you scroll in more, it should pop up the little dots there, right? So the closest one we can see is that LHS 715147. And in the little brackets there, that's the type of storm structure. So that's a type two, uh, that would be a catch basin. And you can find that information if you look um, on the legend, it'll show you the red dot would mean catch basin. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Kylie, for participating. I'm gonna steal back the screen right now. Turn this off. Do I have the screen now? Which one do you see? Okay, I saw that we had a question in the chat box. Hold on, let me get to that. Is the data from in city works as the same as what's available through Honolulu GIS? Um, yes, it is. It's a little bit more detailed. Uh, there's more layers. So actually what you see here right now um, is one of the ways we can access GIS stormwater features. Um, this is actually on um, a city and county website that anyone can access at any time. So it's at this website. Um, 
cchnl.maps.arcgis.com. Uh, it shows you, okay, um, different sites. Uh, I can show you um, different types of maps. So there's a climate one, there's a refuse and recycling one, um, parks and rec one, um, zoning changes uh, because of the, the rail, sewer utilities one, uh, tsunami evacuations, and even um, a COVID response dashboard. But for us, we have our new stormwater one, which will show you some more um, stormwater features. So sort of like the one we just saw, it shows you all of the different catch basins and our inlets in the area. And it goes more into detail on what they are down here. It'll show you if there's a, how it flows out. So if it's with a swell or a concrete pipe or corrugated metal pipes out to the streams and to the oceans. And this one is available on cchnl.maps.arcgis.com. Does anyone have any other questions about our CityWorks website? No. How do you envision the public using CityWorks? Um, it's not really for the public, honestly. It's more internally just for the city users to kind of use to um, collaborate and control all their data and assets that they have. Um, we are able to make a public page like the one that we're sharing right now. Um, and that's just more for the outreach to kind of show what we're doing and what we're capable of. Um, but it's, it's very layered and it, can, and it can get confusing for the public to use. Um, so we don't really like to use CityWorks for, for public use. But for this one, we're gonna allow a public um, access one. Is that available to outside researchers? So the question was, is data available to outside researchers? Um, some of it is, yeah. I mean, anything that has anyone's names or um, information on, we're not allowed to, but most of it can be found in our annual reports. Um, if there's any specific data, you can always reach out to us at cleanwaterhonolulu at gmail.com. Uh, we might be able to help you there. Um, but every year we do have an annual report our next one for this fiscal year should be out in October. So we should be publishing it by then and it's available at the state library. Who can be a resource if we have questions while watching this recorded Zoom meeting? Um, you can always send any information or any uh, questions you have to uh, Clean Water Honolulu at cleanwater at honolulu.gov. That's the email that you can um, send your questions to. Sorry if anyone came late and missed out. Um, this is being recorded and it will be on our website once we can edit it and I take out all my um, missteps. If nothing else, thank you for participating and we should be back with another Water Wednesday in two weeks. Again, thank you for your time.